Hello, all my YouTube fans. How are you today? Well, thank you for tuning in to today's vlog. If you're wondering what I'm doing today, I'm going to be doing some cold starts on two types of trimmels I do own a trail belt and a home light trimmel. Now, I want to get this done because it looks like it's going to pull buckets hang outside, I guess. But here is the gas I use. These are both troll shore. This is 40 to 1. This one is 50 to 1. My home lake uses this, and my troll boat uh, uses this. This is very good stuff to actually get your uh, grass trimmers going. Now, if you prefer to use electric, now, that's up to you. I don't much mind electric. I think electric would be better versus gas, but you don't get the same torque and the same things like you do on your gas powered equipment. But let's go outside and start up some trimmels. Here is the two grass trimmels I'm going to start. Now I'm going to show you what the difference of these two trimmels. One is a co shaft, one is a straight and split shaft model. This is the one I bought a long time ago. Very nicely designed troll bolt. Here is name and also the model. This one's a bit tricky to start, but we'll get to that one. And that was the gas it uses. Lovely machine. And we go on to the old home lake. This one you guys seen before. This one I have we done. This one is called a co shaft. Very awesome. And of course, there's the gas it uses as well. Let's go ahead and get started. This one, uh, start it here. Let's move the gas off to the side. Now, this one's a little bit easier to start than my chore bill, but uh, let's go ahead and time it eight times. One, two, three, four, five. today and that's the way I'm not going on the grass but I'm going to try to start this one this one could be a little fiddly All right. one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Once it gets going, it's fine. Well, let's go ahead and start up these two machines uh, together and see if you can hear the difference of 
these two different grass drummers. done that in a while uh, starting these two together but that's kind of awesome you saw it down pretty damn good for a new and old old machine so let's go and turn these off Alright, sorry about all that noise though. I was just showing you what the difference of these grass trimmers. This one here, my brand new one, has the clutch. The head doesn't spin on this one. Once you hit the throttle, it will spin. Now, on the home like one, it will spin constantly because it does not have a clutch. But yeah, I mean, they work perfectly fine. One's old, one's new. One's from 97, and one is from 2012. They're pretty good machines. This one here, I rebuilt. This one here, I bought. Very nice machines. For the time period. Are these two grass removers. Well, there you go. That's how you start both grass drummers, but not at the exact same time. But, you know, if you're more curious on why I did this, I was just showing you the comparison test of the two grass drummers themselves. Now, because I own two of them, and they're very good for uh, yard work, like around the fence and stuff like that, and trimming around uh, certain things, now, if you do have um, headphones or your speakers uh, on, make sure you turn the volume down because these can be quite loud uh, over time when I hit the throttle and I want to kind of apologize of that, but these are just how my garage drum will sound. Uh, very quiet, very nice, and you look pretty neat. Now, if you are very new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below if you want to know any more about these garage trimmers. And I may not make an on like cold video, cold start on them, or anytime soon. Uh, please like, please share. Peace out. Bye, guys and girls. Hopefully, see you in the next vlog. Peace out from your boy, Chris. Stay safe with your garage trimmers.